Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a little bit of a chill video. So this is just a stripped back, me with no makeup on, get glam, get ready with me because I've just basically spent loads of money on Beauty Bay ordering loads of new bits that I wanted for a long time and I wanted to try them out, do a little vid. So I'm just gonna sit here, go through the products I'm using, chat to you. It's all just chill vibes really. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy it and let's just, let's just get going. Going. I'm gonna be doing like this a lot because I'm gonna obviously need to do my makeup quite well because I am actually going out for some like drinks tonight I kind of just can't have like shit makeup but I just want an excuse to film a video so we're just gonna do it anyway right I've already prepped my eyebrows I don't know if you can tell I'm not sure how I feel about them to be honest so I bought this new right this is the first new thing I bought so I bought the Anastasia brow pen and it's really good, but I think I got it in the wrong shade. I'm not sure if it's too light or too dark, but something's just not right. So what I do for my brows is I literally just use the Anastasia, well, this is what I've just done, but previously I would just use like clear brow gel because my eyebrows are quite dark anyway. They don't actually need filling in too much because otherwise it just looks too full on. I use the Anastasia brow pen. I just sort of like brushed it up a little bit and just sort of added some extra hairs, but I'm just not sure. I've done it now, so I'm not taking it off. And then I literally just use like this collection clear brow gel just to brush them up and like stick them in place. And that's that. I prepped my skin, did a face mask, moisturised, and I've used the uh, Super Goop. Is that focusing? Can you see that? There we go. Use the Super Goop Glow Screen, which is honestly the best thing. It makes my skin so glowy, and I don't really need to apply primer. But I'm probably going to apply primer anyway. <laughs> There's this whole predicament with foundation at the moment. I want to get the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish. But I just haven't got it yet. And I needed a foundation. Like it was a need at this point. And I couldn't be asked to wait for it to come in the post. So I just got the True Match L'Oreal Foundation. Because it's good. It, I use it all the time. And I know it works. I don't know if I got it in the right shade. But... We're just gonna go with it. We'll try it out and we'll see. It could look really good, could not. So for primer, I'm just gonna use, well, this is a primer anyway, so do I need to put primer on? I don't want my face to feel like really heavy. And the only primer I have is the Benefit Professional, but I don't actually like it that much. I feel like it really mattifies my skin. I also do have this one, which is the number seven uh, Lift and Illuminate Primer. Let's put this on, let's see that. So, I'm getting ready to go to a, I don't really know what you call it. I'm going for drinks in uh, my area and we're going to this place which is like um, a renovated barn. It's called the Cow Shed. I think it's called Cow Shed. But basically it's at the back of like a gastro like pub type place. It's got like neon lights, they have like a massive cocktail menu. Never been there before, but if I like it, I might actually consider like hiring it out for like my 21st. That could be a vibe, but we'll see. I'm not really sure what I'm doing for my 21st yet and it's starting to stress me out. Actually, it is stressing me out. So if you didn't know already, my birthday's the 20th of December. I think you understand my problem, really. My birthday's on a Tuesday this year, which means that Christmas is the Saturday or the Sunday, which means obviously the following weekend I can't celebrate my birthday then. The weekend before, I've already got plans like doing other stuff. So it might have to be like a delayed 21st celebration. Or I could do it earlier, but then it's just like not fun. Right, let's try this foundation and assess the situation because if this is the wrong shade, then I'm just ditching this whole video altogether because I'm not about to plaster a YouTube video on the internet when I look like i am been bathing in what's-its, do you know what I mean? So let's try it. I also got the Coco um, Cosmetics Beauty Blend. I'm so excited to try this. Okay. This could work. Does anyone find right when you're like going to buy yourself a foundation, what shade do you get? Because I'm standing there looking at all these shades thinking, where the fuck do I start? Like, I literally have no idea. There's so many shades. And I know that, like, the True Match, like, advertise themselves and they're like, oh, True Match, amazing. Because it matches your skin tone and, like, you'll find your perfect shade. But, yeah, but they don't talk about the part of actually finding your true shade. They talk about the fact that once you find it, it's a great time. 
But what about the process before? Oh no. <laughs> what about the process of actually finding your true match? Because I don't know how to do that. This is looking very yellow. I can't lie to you. But maybe this is my true match. Maybe I have just done it. No, I think it's a bit too yellow. Oh, anyway, back to my birthday. I don't know why I literally went on a massive tangent there. I'm going to Winter Wonderland this year. I haven't been to Winter Wonderland in quite a few years now. Is anyone so excited for winter? Is that just me? I love summer, but I am a winter Sagittarius baby through and through. So give me all the pumpkin spice lattes, give me all of the knitted jumpers because I'm fully here for it. Let's have a look in this light because I can't actually see. Oh my god! Okay. I did that. Yeah, I did that. I'm quite happy with that. I'm not going to literally sit here and like cheer ear off while I do my whole makeup tutorial. <laughs> tutorial. <laughs> Do I look like a makeup artist? Do I look like a makeup artist? No freaking way. I'm really not good at makeup. That is, uh, maybe that should be my New Year's resolution. Me thinking about New Year's resolutions we're in freaking September, Katie. Maybe that should be my New Year's resolution though. To, to, to work on my s makeup skills. I don't know if this is the foundation or, oh, or if this is the, um, the beauty blender, but I'm gonna go with the beauty blender. That is good. Can't believe I didn't buy this sooner. If you take anything away from this video, then it's this beauty blender. I'm obviously gonna blend out a little bit more and sort it all out as we go. So don't be too worried just yet. We'll see how it goes and then we might have to get worried. I wanna talk about Halloween. So what is everyone doing for Halloween? Because I need to start thinking about that. I definitely want to do a fright night this year because I didn't do a fright night last year. Me and Rosie were supposed to do one, but then we just, um, what the hell? Ugh, why has it done that? Oh, by the way, I'm just using the Collection Lasting Perfection concealer, but I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Actually, to be fair, it looks all right. <laughs> But I, it's not my favourite. I've used the Tarte Shape Tape, quite like that. I've used the Maybelline one. You know the one with the sponge? Use that, don't mind that. But this one just doesn't do it for me. Like, wouldn't say 10 out of 10, wouldn't even say 7. I think I can do it a 6 on a good day. My skin looks really odd. Maybe it's the brows. I'm just trying to go for something a little bit natural. I don't want to do like a whole full on full face because I'm literally just going for some drinks and I don't want to look like out of place. But the whole reason I basically wanted to film this video was just to try out some of these products and just see what the whole rave is about. So that's all I'm going to do really. I bought the Made by Mitchell blush. Blush! I love saying that, that is so cute. Um, and I just want to see what it's like. I also bought the Clinique Chubby Stick because I've wanted it for freaking ages. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to get it. So I got it. Let's just try this out first of all. So I got the peach sugar. I've seen that this is very pigmented. I don't know why I'm doing blush now. I haven't even finished my concealer. I need to calm down. <laughs> okay, right. Let's just take a minute and just actually do it properly and stop just chatting my life away. I'm now using the number seven concealer. Now this I like. You know at Christmas when you get them like beauty advent calendars, I got a tester of this in one of the beauty ones that I got and I really liked it. So I went back and bought the full size. It's stunning. Cause at first I was like, oh no, it's like a, a, a stick of concealer. And I was just gonna like give it to my mum and be like, here you go. And I tried it and I was like, actually, hang on, this is really nice. And yeah, got her onto it as well. So she now uses it. That's Heidi. She needs to be in a video soon, I feel like. I feel like she would love that. I want to do like a um, mum chooses my pretty little thing order or something because I actually want to find out how well Heidi knows me. Like, I actually think she would do quite a good job. She's got a good fashion sense, but some of the things that she buys obviously are not my type of style. I feel like she would be quite good at it for me. She could be able to 
like judge what I would and wouldn't wear. So I might do that video soon. I feel like that could be fun. I'm also doing a video with Rosie soon. So Rosie will be back on the channel at some point in the nearby future. We're thinking of doing like a drinky type video. I can say it or shot it. I don't know if um, any of you guys have watched like my old videos when me and Rosie were doing them in lockdown. Was it lockdown? I think it was when we were coming out of lockdown and we could see one person, that was it. And we were going for drives because like nothing was open. So like we just went to, used to go for like drives and stuff and film YouTube videos. My first ever video was trying the, was it the, spi the, the spicy nuggets? No, because they've just come out. The katsu nuggets. Oh my god, that was such a long time ago. And I look like such a baby in those videos, it's actually hilarious. I would keep just losing track of what I'm saying, like I was actually talking about Halloween. Anyway, doesn't matter now. I need to tell you about the whole hoo-ha with um, this parcel, right? So I ordered from Beauty Bay all this stuff. I came to have about probably like 120 pounds. Parcel gets freaking lost, doesn't it? Tell me why. I spent all that money on a parcel and it was delivered to just some random house. Like, it wasn't like it was just delivered round the corner by accident. It was, there was a photo of it, like a GPS photo of the parcel, sitting in someone's porch. I was like, I'm sorry, does that look like my house? No? So, I had to start, like, a whole complaint to try and get the parcel back. In the end, they gave me a full refund and I just reordered the stuff. But I'm a little bit pissed off about it because I got 25% off. And the second time I went to order it, I couldn't get that. But we're just gonna forget about it because I've got the stuff now, second time round. Isn't that just so bad though, that it was literally just delivered to some random house? I feel like I need to wipe this foundation off my lips because it's making me look a little bit scary. Sorry, I keep literally just like looking away from the camera, but I can't tell the lighting's not too great in here to do my makeup, but it's what it is. Do you know what? It's actually okay. Like, I'm alright with how this is going so far. If you know me at all, then you know I don't wear makeup. I don't wear makeup to work. I don't wear makeup when I see my friends. I wear makeup when I go on nights out. Potentially, I might wear a little bit on holiday, depending on, like, like for example, if you watch my Amsterdam vlog, I put a little bit of makeup on there, but like hardly anything. Like I didn't wear foundation, I'm not foundation, just concealer. I'm just not a makeup gal. Like it's just not me. Please don't take this as a tutorial because just don't. <laughs> right now, I'm going to try using this. It's going to go two ways. Right. So how do I do this? Do I just <laughs> let's go down the nose first. Oh, okay. And then we're gonna do around the chin. Uh, probably in the wrong place, but. And then I'm assuming, just like down the face, down the face, like that. I'm gonna put that up here as well. Cause why not? Right, now let's blend this out. So also, my brushes really need updating. I bought like a load of brushes not too, well not too long ago. I use the Zoeva brushes. Am I just blending this down? Yeah. Am I doing this wrong? Also, it came to my conclusion that you haven't met Honey. So Honey's my six months old golden Labrador puppy. And she is the cutest thing in the world. I absolutely love her insert picture here that's actually mad that we've had over six months i'm definitely doing this wrong it's good though i quite like you it's good doing something it's gonna be our first christmas with her how cute is that so i'm thinking we need to get her like a stocking and really like milk it a bit maybe a decoration for the tree saying honey's first christmas like, I feel like that is something that needs to happen. What else do people do? Like, do we take her to see Santa? That could be fun. She might like that. She's a very loving dog, but she's just so excitable. I've never met a dog like it. She just goes absolutely mad for anything. Anyone pisses everywhere. 
And when I say pisses everywhere, you're probably thinking, what? No, she pisses everywhere. Like, when, like, Rosie comes over, she starts just, like, weeing of excitement. It's just, like, this is really embarrassing. Yesterday, she was at puppy training, and Mum sent me a message. She was like, honey keeps farting in puppy training. <laughs> oh, my God. She's such an icon. She definitely needs to be in a video soon. I have filmed, like, a, um, just a weekly vlog-type video, but I haven't, like, edited it or posted it yet. It's just, like, a compilation of clips of honey. Because that's basically what my life consists of at the moment. Just get up, go to work, come home, see my dog. Maybe fit in, you know, a few gym sessions here and there. Do you know what? I'm really slacking on the gym at the moment. I'm doing another half marathon. If you didn't already know, I did a half marathon last year for Make-A-Wish charity. Um, and it was the best thing I've ever done. Just because... The feeling afterwards, it was just like immense. But I'm doing another one this year, in, not this year, in February coming. So I'm quite excited for that. And I've started training. When I say started training, I haven't trained properly for the past week or so. But like I am in the process of training. So that's going to be a whole video, which is going to be sick. So that's in February. And I'm thinking of doing another one in April, but we will see. I would like to do another one in April. And I probably will end up doing another one in April. Just because, why the fact not? In 2023, I would like to do a full marathon um, for Beat Eating Disorders, which is a really, it's a charity really close to my heart, but that will be a different video. <laughs> um, so I think that's my end goal. I feel like I've done that right. Could, could not. I'm not really sure. I, I'm not actually focusing on doing the makeup. I am talking to the camera more. To be fair, it's not looking too bad at the moment. You might think otherwise. I don't know what it looks like on the camera, to be honest. I'm going to have to take this off. Where is that? <laughs> um, oh, right. Let's try this blush. Blush, blush, blush. Where's it gone? Now, I know you don't need a lot of this, so I'm literally just going to do maybe that and then just blend it out, I guess. Oh my god. Right, okay. This is not the right blush. Brush. Let's try this one. Okay. Very pigmented, but I'm loving it. It's definitely my shade of blush, like more of like a ready blush than more of like a peachy blush. Just because I think it suits my skin tone more because I've got odd coloured hair. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm lost with my hair at the moment. I don't know what to do with it. I really want to go brown. I just think my hair is basically brown anyway, to be fair. Apart from the ends, which are very blonde, the top of my hair is basically brown anyway. So there's just kill two birds with one stone here and do it but my mum's sort of like anti it she's like katie you are a blonde through and through because she is very much a blonde as well but i don't know we'll see look at that it's very pigmented but is it too pigmented who knows is anyone else like this i'll get like halfway through their makeup and then they'll be like i've had enough Cause that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm like, should I just not go out? Should I just leave it? I just don't think it suits me. Like a whole full face. Like I never wear lashes or anything like that. Like you will never catch me with a pair of lashes on. To be fair, when I was younger, but I feel like that's that's how how different story. Like when you're younger, isn't it? Like wearing makeup when you're younger, I used to wear so much more when I used to go out. Right, this is so bad. <laughs> ah, why can't I do it? If you're looking for a tutorial, then you might just want to click off now. <laughs> if you're looking for a chatty video, then you're in the right place. Because I have just chatted your ears off for the past... How long have I been recording now? 28 minutes! No. The only thing I'm actually enjoying a little bit from this look at the moment... I mean, I'm loving all the products. The products are really good, but I just don't know what I'm doing. And I'm not concentrating. If I sat and did this properly, then this would look great. Well, not great. It would look better. Right, I'm going to pause the video for a bit, go and do a little bit more, going to sort my face out a little bit and then come back to you and we'll see where we're at then. 
just so you can have a bit of a break. I mean, you won't have a break because the video will continue. I can have a bit of a break just chatting. And I can sort my face out. So I will be back, hopefully, with a bit more of a transformation. Love ya. Okay. So I think I've more or less sorted out the base. So what I've done is I've just sort of reconcealed a couple of areas that I missed and probably shouldn't have missed. Just evened it out a bit. Added some extra bronzer, just to bronze me up a little bit. So I used the, obviously, the Clinique Chubby Stick. I added a little bit more of that. Then added some of my Hoola. And then on top of that, I also used the Rachel Leary Revolution Glow. It's a bronzer, but it's got like a highlighting shimmer in it. And it just gives you a bit more of a glow. So I put that on top of the bronzer. Added a little bit more blush of the blush. The blush. Added that on. And here we are. So I think... What I'm going to do now is just bake, add a little bit of my powder. So I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And then I think we'll go on to eyes. I might actually do eyes first. I'm not going to do that much. What I'm thinking of using is literally just using my hula. Maybe adding in a little bit of... So is there any shades in here that I want to use? Putting something in the middle of my inner corner and adding some hula just over the base just to add a little bit of colour because I don't want to add glitter and make it all, you know, fancy for no reason. I've got my mirror here so that's why I've come really close. I'm literally just going to blend that out over. I think that should be fine. You know when you put like foundation on and you get the creasing? If I put a little bit of eyeshadow on then it stops that creasing. So... Bit of a win-win there. It's all about Christmas, because I feel like that's coming around thick and fast. Like, very, very soon, I'm going to be shitting myself because it's my 21st birthday, and then I'm going to be shitting myself because I need to start getting people presents, and then I need to start thinking about Rosie's birthday. Being a best friend's actually quite hard. <laughs> like, it's her 21st this year, and tell me what we're doing, because I don't know, we're thinking of combining something, because her birthday's the 19th of November, Mine is the 20th of December, so we're thinking of doing something together. Now, I thought it would be quite cool to go up to Manchester, because there's so much to do in Manchester, and we could get like a cute little apartment for a couple of days, do some fun things. I really want to go to Bongo's Bingo, so catch me at Bongo's Bingo, see you there. I thought Manchester would be a nice location, because we could go to London, but I am going to London in a couple of weeks in October, just for a couple of nights, just to do some fun things. And I'm actually meeting Rosie and her boyfriend up there. We're gonna do like a bottomless brunch, which should be quite cool. Me and Rosie have done a bottomless brunch. Well, actually we've done two bottomless brunches in London before we done, I think it's called Las Iguanas. I think it's like near Waterloo, but I know there's quite a couple of them in London. And then we also did um, Dirty Martini near Covent Garden, which was so good. Loved that one, but that was a long time ago. So we're thinking of doing something along those lines. Like a bottomless brunch type vibe in Manchester. Just spending some nice time together because we hardly really see each other as much as we used to. We used to literally be at each other's houses 24-7. As you grow up, you just don't have the time anymore. Like we're both working a lot. Okay, see so this is the issue I'm having now. It's creasing. Oh, actually that looks quite cute. Okay, let's keep to that. So next, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now, I don't use a lot of this. First of all, it's very expensive. And second of all, you need literally the tiniest bit of it. The coverage that it gives is just amazing. But you don't need much at all. And I'm just going to pack that under my eyes. This is actually probably the best powder out there. So if you don't have this, then why? Just saying. I don't make the rules. Jesus did. Anyway, back to what I was actually talking about. The amount of times I've said anyway in this video is actually a problem. Anyway, back to what I was saying. <laughs> back to me. <laughs> but I do just chat so much rubbish, it's actually a problem. But like, get used to it. Do you know what I mean? I should start a podcast. Shouldn't I? It'd be quite entertaining to listen to. Just me basically chatting absolute rubbish for an hour straight. Sounds like a dream. I do talk a lot. I'm well aware of this. And many people have told me this. Maybe that's what I'm destined to be. Look at what that powder's done. Like, it's just amazing. So, yeah, I've just packed a little bit of that on. And then I think what I'm going to do next 
is just add a little bit of highlight or light powder in my inner corners and then I'm going to move on to eyes. Now sometimes I like to put a little bit of black eyeliner, is it eyeliner? Yeah, on my waterline but I've stopped kind of doing that because I think it was just too heavy for me. So I've stopped doing that and I just, just put mascara on now. I'm not putting lashes or anything like that on. It's more of a chill vibe for me. And then I think we'll be almost there. Just lips and then a finished look. Why do I look so confused? <laughs> okay, right, I'm gonna do my mascara, but I thought it might great, be quite entertaining for you to watch me do it. Because if anyone looks pretty while applying mascara, then well, you're lucky. Obviously, I've just curled them, and then I'm just gonna brush it through a little bit. I used to pick them out. Like, I used to pick my eyelashes out as like a, a part time job. Can you hear him singing in the other room? That's my stepdad. He's cleaning the bathroom, so. Sorry if you can hear that. He's having a good sing song. Love that for him. Now a car alarm's going off. It's all going well. Actual chaos. I've got a fucking clue what song this is, but. He's vibing in the other room. Absolutely vibing. I'm quite lucky, I do have quite long eyelashes. Now the hoover's going off. Does anything else want to happen? So I think we're just going to finish everything off now. I'm sorry about the music in the background that you can probably hear. I need to get you onto this lip combo. So I've discovered the best lip combo known to women or men. It is the MAC Lip Liner in the colour or in the shade Whirl. And I literally, I have quite shaped lips. Like they're not rounded, they're like almost drawn on. So I tend to just follow that outline and then I use a lighter shade on my lips and then I finish off with the Revolutionary Too Faced Lip Injection Gloss, which is a lip plumper, but it is honestly the best lip gloss that you're ever gonna use, but it feels like an oil on your lips. So if you take anything away from this video, get that. I bought it in the mini just to try it, first of all, and I literally just finished it. There's hardly anything, there's literally nothing left in there, so I just bought myself a brand new one. So let me just go ahead and do this lip liner, and then I'll come back to you with the gloss. I don't have a very, I mean, obviously they're natural, but like they're not like, they're just very shaped. I might actually just use this, just to add a little bit of, a lighter shade in the middle. Now, this is a very weird lip combo that I use. This is literally like a Primark lipstick that I've had for, look, you can see that's the end of it. I've had it since probably I was about I was back at school and I thought I was the it girl wearing lipstick. And I've kept it ever since because the shade is just perfect. It's not the best, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best lipstick. If I do it with this MAC lip liner, it just, it works really well. Again, sorry about the music. Can't really help that. Yeah, and that's it. Let me just move you and then just show you a bit more in the light. Okay, that's very bright. Let's put you back. Let's go. Okay, now we're zooming in. <laughs> And you can see that this is sort of the finished look. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add a little bit of powder. Then I use my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just to finish it all off. Just bring it all together. Makes it all glowy. Makes it stay on all night. I'll come back to you with the complete look. And then we'll finish the video. Bit of a weird one, but we'll just go with it. <laughs> Diet Coke has the way to my heart. I would say this is the finished look. I don't think there's anything else I need to add. I've I've now put my setting spray on and the look is finished, I guess. So, I mean, I hope it looks all right. I can't really tell. <laughs> I mean, the lighting is weird because I've got light coming in from there. So I'm going by my mirror, but then I'm not sure what it looks like on camera. So 
I hope you enjoyed the video anyway, guys. It's a bit of a weird one, just a thrown together, get ready with me, and basically me just chat to you for however long this video is. I'm gonna say it's quite a long one because I've talked a lot. If you take anything from this video, then make sure you buy the Coco Cosmetics Beauty Blender because look how flawless my skin looks. Oh my God, I didn't even address the lip gloss situation. Okay, hang on, let me find it. This, these are the two things I would say go and buy yourself one of these and this is the uh, Too Faced lip injection lip gloss and it just gives the most subtle cute glossy look I'm gonna finish this video here guys I hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it and you want to see more content from moi love you all kisses see you in the next one bye